guys, T-Rex back again here with another episode of Jurassic World The Game. And as you can see, I did open a pack. And you must be thinking, why is there a tournament creature there? Well, I got, well, here's the story. Earlier today, I went to record. I wanted to do a Tajunga, um, no, I wanted to do a WWF pack, or whatever you called, Earth Day pack, that's it. And I opened one. I got Kentrosaurus. And I was kind of unhappy with that. I got kind of annoyed. And I was just sitting there like, ugh. Then I did a battle and I lost, so I was like, I don't want to record this. I'm not happy. So I waited later in the day. And I was like, I want another pack. I want a chance to get Pachyrhinosaurus. This is the dinosaur I want, and I want him. So I waited. And as you can see, I opened that pack. <laughs> and I got him. So yes, here we go. 1,900 DNA, not bad. 500, 500 bucks. Well, another 1,900 DNA, and a Pachyrhinosaurus, and I can't be happier. No, we're not buying anymore, because we've finally got both of the dinosaurs. As you can see, let's buy another one. Where is he? Where is he? Tur tournament? Oh, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, you've got to hatch him. Okay, let's hatch him. Ooh, that's a lot of DNA, but it's worth it. Whatever. I mean, Bucks, what, what am I in about? And here it's Packy Rhinosaurus. Oh, he looks beautiful. He looks so cool. Oh, we don't have space for him. Of course. Of course we don't. Can we buy another one now? Herbivores? Can we? Can we? I mean, we kind of hatched him. Nope, apparently he can't do that until we place him. Okay, so um, let's put him here, I guess. We're running out of space. I think it's my fault because my fault because the park looks horrendous. But let's put him here next to... These Hammond statues and Gorgosaurus. I think that's Gorgosaurus. Is it Gorgosaurus? Yep. Let's put him there. Okay, so he should be able to be placed now. Come on, we can do this. We can do this, guys. We can do this. So let's place him. And yep, there you go. So we got Pachyrhinosaurus at last. Oh, he looks beautiful. Look at the body. Look at the uh, model. <laughs> what am I heard about the texture? He looks really good. You can see it's like nice and like it does. It doesn't look flat, which is nice. So let's get another Pachyrhinosaurus. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll only get two for now. I kind of want to get this one to level 40 first. Obviously, going to take a while and a lot of DNA. And we've still got Archelon to come uh, in a couple of days. But we should be able to get him and it should be good. So, guys, so, guys, so, guys. There's an Earth Day event. I'm happy we've got Pachyrhinosaurus. We could technically use Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh, he's actually quite good, actually. Like, compared to Kentrosaurus, he has nice stats. I mean, I'm not saying Kentrosaurus is bad, but he doesn't have the best stats. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to use these three, because I think these are actually some good, well-rounded, solid herbivores. And we should be able to take out the first three, at least, anyway. I mean, we're against 26 Gigamestophilus, which is actually quite a good dinosaur. Unisaurus level 32 and 39 level Ferrozinosaurus, which are definitely both good. 30 Shonosaurus isn't that great, as you can see, but we should be able to do this. Okay, so... Probably Shonosaurus has quite a good attack for what he is, to be honest. He, he's not the best level, but he has a nice attack. 374, that's not bad. His health is just a little bit low, which is weird for a, um, what do you call it, sauropod? You'd think they'd have more health, but whatever. Anyway, let's do this. I think they should take it out. Will 4 be enough? I think it will be. Yes! There you go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. What now? What now? Well, of course, of course, it's Unisaurus, he'll probably take us out. Five, yep, I don't know, how many did he have? Seven, I guess? Yeah, he probably had seven. So, um, I don't know. Will we take him out? Yeah, we'll be able to take him out. Come on, come on, Pachyrhinosaurus. Uh, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, that's definitely not going to be enough. But we did some damage, 920, not bad. Poor Pachyrhinosaurus, should have saved up with him. He's got four. What's he going to do? He's going to do three, so we're going to be able to take us out. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. So what? He's probably got two, one block. Let's do two, three, and two saves. Okay, so one block. Yep, there you go. He's got four now. Hopefully you attack. I want him to attack with three. Okay, he didn't attack. This is kind of worrying now, because we might be able to do it. Might not. Let's do two, two, three, and one. Yep, there you go. Okay, we've taken him out, but he may have eight. He may have eight. Oh, game, why do you do this to me? These events are hard. Well, they're not hard. You just need your best dinosaurs, and it's kind of a shame how you always need your best dinosaurs for these. And, oh, well, there you go, Ferrocinosaurus. I mean, we was obviously outclassed with our dinosaurs. 
They really wanted us to use our better ones. So we're going to use our, some of our better ones. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Echolodocus. I kind of want to use uh, Pecoronosaurus. So yeah, we'll use Pecoronosaurus. And who else? Unisaurus, I guess? We might as well fight Unisaurus with Unisaurus. Okay, so who are we going to go? Echolodocus, Pecoronosaurus, and Unisaurus. And hopefully, I mean, at least with the... A quick one, we'll be able to win without e with ease, so we'll get our bucks back. Okay, so, we could have won that probably if I played a bit smarter, but it's fine. Let's pay attention and we'll be able to do it. So he saved two, or he blocked two, whatever, it's fine. So he saved it, he's got four, he could attack us and kill us, but I doubt he will do that, yep. Okay, so he's got four, what's he probably done? He's probably blocked two and saved four. I mean, saved the rope? Yeah, he saved them all. What am I on about? Seven, that's a lot. He's going to attack probably, yep, no surprise there. But it leaves him wide open, and we'll have health and attack to be able to do not bad with. Okay, so here's Pachyranosaurus. Not bad, not bad. So, um, how many to take him out? Oh, we need to do six. That's not that's not good, you know. That's quite a lot when you think about it. But we'll take him out. It's fine. There we go. Okay, so what's he done? Four, cracky! That's a lot, but it's all the attack he had, so it's not that bad when you think about it. What are we going to do? We're going to do, we're going to have to make sure we kill him, so one, two, three. Two blocks and one save, because, uh, Ferrocinosaurus doesn't have that much attack, but he does have quite a bit of health, so we kind of want all the attacks possible. And even with the good team we had, I mean, Pachyronosaurus isn't that great at the level he is currently at, so, obviously not the best, but... Uh, we could have had a better. Okay, so he's probably saved up four, so we'll just take five. Yes, there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Ferocinosaurus. And the first battle has been done. Okay, so... I don't really enjoy these battles. So we're going to swap... I think my phone vibrated, so sorry if it did. We're going to swap over to um, this, which is easier and uh, kind of a bit more interesting, I'd say. Just because we like to see our aquatics. Our aquatics are beautiful in this game. And I can't wait to get more of them. Hopefully Monday we'll be getting a new aquatic as well as Archeron, so two aquatics, that would be cool to see actually. We probably will know in uh, Ludio because they normally do one every week. But last week we did get Styxosaurus, which I actually missed. I, I did the first two battles and was going to record the last one in a video, but uh, I left it too late. And, but it's alright, I already had Styxosaurus level 40, so I'm not fussed. Anyway, let's do four. I don't know why I did four because there's only one of them, we could have just used it all out. Six and uh, killed him, but whatever. Okay, so he's got six, he'll probably attack us. No, okay, well, we'll just use six and kill him. So here we go. Good job, Mr. Lip the Gladys. Also, I think we should show off uh, Pecoranosaurus and Kindrosaurus in this video. Show you what they look like. They're pretty cool, they're pretty cool. They're pretty good so far. I mean, they're alright so far, but level 20 is definitely the level you want these guys at. So let's go have a look. Okay, so we've seen Pecoranosaurus. I love his crest and his little horns. He looks nice, he looks cute. He actually looks really cute. And at level 40, from what I can remember, he does look cool. Kedrosaurus just looks like a uh, Stokosaurus with spikes, pretty much, because that's what he is. I uh, don't really care for all these uh, dinosaurs, and I kind of really don't like Stokosaurus and that kind of dinosaurs. I don't know why, maybe it's because I like Triceratops and Stokosaurus are like the two popular herbivores, I guess, but I don't know, it's me being silly, really. Okay, my phone keeps going off. Why does it keep going off? Oh, YouTube comments. I should really, like, silence it. But whatever, it's fine. <laughs> okay, what should we do? What do Surface good against? What do Surface good against? English score. Okay, I think this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's not the best team, but we've got Trinocophirium, Type Vantage, and we've still got Type Vantage with Chronosaurus. So we should be fine. We should be fine. And we still haven't used any of our top dinosaurs, except for Aquatics, I mean, except for Trinoc uh a uh, Chronosaurus. So we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay, so he's got four. What's he gonna do? He can kill us with two. We can probably kill him with six, so let's try. Yes! Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so, Trinocophirium, pretty cool. I still need to get level 40. I haven't got the newer ones at level 40 yet. And I think it's because I'm saving up for Pachyronosaurus or Archelon or whoever. Just because I don't want to waste all my DNA in bucks to get them to level 40 as quick as possible. I will get them eventually. But I'm running out of dinosaurs because of all the hybrids and all that. They're taking out my 
Um, all the dinosaurs at level 40 pretty much. <laughs> I gotta kinda get them back as well, so it's the back and forth between the two different types pretty much. Anyway, let's do 8 with Brognavidon. It'd be cool to see his animation. I haven't seen it in a while. And he probably actually did take him out, so kind of a waste of Bro uh, Chronosaurus, but it's fine. Oh, it's a Talbot one. Let's watch him attack. Pew! Uh, Megalodon. I mean, Mosasaurus. Megalodon? What am I on about? It's down. A uh, victory, and I think that's the second battle, so we should probably go back to Earth Day now and see. Uh, what we can do? Okay, so was it? Oh, this this is a hard team. Why do they do this to me? Okay, so what should we use? Well, who should we use? I mean, I don't think Dinosaurus is a bad idea, but we kind of need someone first. So let's go Pegasus, Dinosaurus, and out of our top two, who do we want? We want to attack, so we might take Unisaurus again, or Stegosaurus because it's cheaper. Let's just use Unisaurus, and use Stegosaurus last. Um, yep, so we're quite, we're using quite a bit of DNA, but, I mean, Bucks, but it should be fine. We should be able to beat these both. I don't really see any problems here. It's going to be a bit longer video as well, because two events normally take up a bit longer time. Also, I opened the pack at the start, and... I'm glad I got Pachyrinosaurus. I was kind of annoyed at first, as I said, because I got Pachyrinosaurus and I didn't want him. But we got both of them, so it's cool. And yeah, I did use quite a bit of money for it, but Stream Finance came in, and also I'll be getting my money from my game, and YouTube revenue goes towards this game pretty much. Every time, like, if every time something comes out in this pack game, I'll pay for it with YouTube money. I mean, I don't earn that much, but I can. I, I like to invest back into the channel with it rather than buying myself stuff. Just to make the channel better, like, I want to buy some art with it. I mean, I might use my own money for that because I kind of used it a lot for this. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, plus it's kind of like pay for living. Anyway, let's take this guy out. Six, five should be enough. Three will take him out. Three, yeah, three should actually do it. Yep, there you go, not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, very soon as it's probably got four. We'll be able to take this out if he wants to. With, uh, how many? Nope, he didn't even do that. Okay, so let's do five. Okay, so we didn't do that much damage, but we did do quite a bit. And we should be fine. He's got five, though, so hopefully he uses a bit more than two. He's three, so he's left himself open by two. Two will kill him, two will kill him. Yep, so good job. You, Nasaurus, let's do four, and we'll win. Yep, there you go. Goodbye, Nasaurus. Verazinosaurus! Ah, oh, he got kicked to the ground and died. <laughs> Poor Verosinosaurus. But there you go, victory! Oh yes, oh yes. I've got packed Rhinosaurus, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Plus that's two tournaments I don't have to worry about. Ooh, look at this team. This team's quite strong. So we're going to start with Stixosaurus, Megalodon, then Mosasaurus. This should be completely fine. These battles are so easy, guys. They keep repeating the same dinosaurs as well. It's kind of uninteresting, I'd say. So you'd want a bit more variety. It's always the surface creatures. I guess it's because there's more of them. Maybe they start adding more variety, I guess. I mean, Adustus is also um, a tournament creature, but it's uh, another surface. Do we need another surface? No, you could have done a reef because... Wait, reef or cave? I think it's cave because Archelon's reef. But you get what I'm on about. Variety is best. And we don't have much of it with the aquatics at the moment. But it's fine. Whatever. I guess they left themselves a bit stu stuck with the variety because they have a lot of... Uh, what you call it? A lot of surface creatures, I guess? But anyway, Mosasaurus is taken down. And do they stay at the surface in real life? I don't know. Because, like, a shark could go down and up. I guess they wouldn't go down to the depths of the caves. I guess that makes sense. And maybe go down to the surface? Wait, surface? Is that surface of the water or surface of the ocean? No, surface of the water. Of course it is. What about? Anyway, let's take him out before. Oh, okay, nope, we didn't take him out. Kind of annoying, to be honest. We should have paid attention. I was talking to myself. <laughs> or talking to you guys, talking to myself. But, yep, yeah, anyway, four. He can take us out if he wants. Yep, he will. Which uh, kind of leaves himself wide open. We'll attack with one, probably. Yep, yeah, one, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to do one, two blocks, and three saves. And Megalodon will be down. And Mosasaurus should be easy enough to take out. Hopefully we get some DNA from this pack. I mean bucks, not DNA. I don't care for DNA too much at the moment. Even though we are saving them technically. But we we don't need that much. Anyway, let's do seven and here we go. Goodbye, Mr. Mosasaurus. With our Mosasaurus. 
So he's gonna swim around, of course. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna pick up the sand, which will, uh, I guess, pulls, uh What's the word? I don't know. You know when you pull a string, no, not string, pull a spring, and then it flicks back. I think that's pretty much what he's doing. I think I heard that in a beaver video once or something. But there you go, super right back. Let's get some books. Yep. Oh, it's next source. That's not too bad, you know. I will do this. Okay, so what do we want? <laughs> Seriously, two Ferrocinosauruses? That seems a bit overkill. But whatever. We'll go with who has the most health here? Okay, this is what I want to do. I think this is actually a good team for this team. Just because we'll be able to heal up. Well, well not heal up, but we'll be able to get. What am I going about? Save Swift and Touch Potter. He may be able to attack. If not, then Dinosaurus can definitely attack. Dinosaurus is going to have a lot of damage. And his, 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 he doesn't seem that useful, but he really is useful. You'd think like, oh, his health is so low, and it is. But he is that little glass tack cannon you need in the middle of your team or the end of your team to take out the strong, healthy guys. Well, not strong. Well, healthy guys, yeah, that makes sense. But not strong. I guess strong means damage in this game. So, yeah. So, um, let's do six. And two saves. We should be able to take him out. Yep, there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Verdosaurus 1. Oh, they're both level 37. What weird? How, why is it? Why? why? It's kind of a weird game. But anyway. I'm packing the uh, Ceratops. Which is weird to have, to be honest. Why would they do them to? I mean, they could have done Stegoceratops again. Stegoceratops is strong. The second battle seemed harder, as in team wise. I don't remember exactly. Uh, we'll be able to take him out with three. Let's do four. I don't know how many he's going to have, but. Yep, there you go. So he's taken out. And with one, there's no way we can lose now. There's no way we can lose. I mean, Pegasus can take us out with two. Fine, because then we've got four to take him out with. And if not, we've still got this much to take him out with, which is six. And he blocked with one. So there you go. Victory. And hopefully we'll get at least 250 DNA again. DNA or bucks? Bucks, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Look at Dinosaurus. Dappy, bloody dinosaur. Derp. And let's get a super pack and let's see what we get. We got nothing. Okay, well that's annoying. Uh, what's here? What's here? Okay, we can do one, I'd say. One or two. Depends on the dinosaurs we have. <laughs> do we want an all carnivore team? Is this really a good idea? I don't think so. But, especially if they have two, like, let's say two amphibians, that's going to screw with us so bad. Come on, just herbivores. Herbivores or terrorists. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. That is not too bad because we've still got Indominus, which could take out Colosaurus if we want to. And I'll probably switch out for Colosaurus straight away, which means it might be even easier for us. Nope, okay, even better, I guess. We can take this guy out of three with T-Rex. He blocked one, so he's obviously not thinking about attacking. He'll probably swap out, actually. Come on. Nope, he attacked with two. Okay, so he's left himself wide open. We'll be able to take him out. And it uh, should be easy from there. I mean, there's one less to worry about. Come on, look, look, there you go. So goodbye, Mr. Pachyceratops. It's a lot easier when you got more choices as well. Type advantage. I mean, herbivore versus herbivore is fine. Because I guess you're more even and you don't have to worry about advantages. But now, we do. And obviously, uh, Colossus has the advantage. Okay, so he has, what, three? So, um... Uh, this is kind of hard, I'd say. Not really hard, but we can't take him out with this guy. This guy has no attack. Look at Megalosaurus. Look at his puny attack. I mean, he at least is not Ceratosaurus. <laughs> Ceratosaurus is a horrendous attack. You should probably see the stats of uh, the two new aquatics as well. I mean, herbivores we got from the F pack. But first of all, we will take Colosaurus out. So he's got four. He's got one block. That's that we know. Okay, there you go. Two, there you go. We should kill him. Yep, there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Pulasaurus. Indominus is still our beautiful best dinosaur in the game, or hybrid not dinosaur. Our best dinosaur? Who's our best dinosaur? We'll have to check out that actually after the battle as well. But anyway, six ceratops. Okay, yep, we've won. No way of losing now. We've got 1,443 attack. That's ridiculous. So strong. So let's take him out. Six. Yep, so four. Four will be more than enough. And goodbye, Mr. Stego. Ceratops. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Puny dinosaur. I mean, he is my favorite hybrid. So I don't know what I'm saying. Wow, we went two spaces. But that's fine. That's fine. We're still waiting for our dinosaurs to go on. What's the word? Cooldown? We'll go off cooldown because we're already on cooldown. That's fine. Some coins, whatever. That's not a big deal. So, who's our best 
Trudon, Trudon, oh, that's actually cool, you know. Trudon's quite good in this game. I'm happy about Trudon. Okay, so, also, yeah, let's go to the market. Let's see who... Let's go to herbivores. Let's look at our... Okay, so we've got currently four herbivore uh, tournament creatures. Who's the best? Who's the best? I think it's either Paki Rhinosaurus or Antarctopelta. I mean, Ketrosaurus is definitely the worst, I'd say, but Dinosaurus is definitely meh. But he has high attack, and that's so useful. That's so useful in a game like this. So, um, yeah, good job getting Paki Rhinosaurus, I'd say. Not bad, not bad. Um, do we want any of the other? Oh, what's this? What's this? There's so many things. Oh, I never. I, do. I haven't looked at that in a while. What? Uh, these are on sale. I'm not too fussed about this at the moment. Maybe later. Oh, uh, the other packs. I mean, we could get one of these. Okay, let's buy one of each just to get the special buildings. Well, at least one special building. Okay, come on, use my finger. Buy. Yep. Okay, we might as well buy one of each. Nothing. Like, nothing wrong with this. So, um, we got a natural science center, which is interesting. It's like natural history museum, I guess. Why do they want us to buy another one? I mean, it's charity, sure, guys, but calm down. <laughs> anyway, let's get this one. And I'd say that's it for these packs, because they're kind of expensive. Well, not expensive, but the first ones were. <laughs> okay, so what did we get? We got the sundial. Okay, nothing special there. Would have wanted the T-Rex one, like the Jurassic Park logo, but that's fine, that's fine. Got them two buildings for later. And that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more Pachyridosaurus and Ketrosaurus, make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you again with more Jurassic World The Game.